Hey everyone, thanks for stopping in. Welcome to another Thrift Union video. My name is Kevin. Um, we're just going to do a quick what sold video. Um, we didn't do one last week, so this will be... Uh, we're going to do 20 items in no particular order that sold between July 1st and yesterday, uh, Friday, July 13th. Uh, I'm going to do it a little differently. Uh, we're going to uh, jump over to the computer to show you what sold as opposed to me standing there and showing some things over here what sold. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh. And if you like this content, uh, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Also the notification uh, icon that'll let you know once we've uploaded some new videos. In addition, don't forget, thumbs up always helps. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump over to the computer. All right, so first we got a Puma Men's Team Canada uh, Winter Hockey Coat Jacket. Um, this went for a best offer. We were asking $99.88. Uh, we took a best offer of $75 plus shipping uh, for a total of $87.99. Um, so it was vintage, um, nice puffy pattern, embroidered logo. Uh, had some different zip type sleeves I'd never seen before. They zipped and unzipped to about the uh, elbow. Uh, first time I've actually seen that on a coat. Um, so it was a pretty good flip here. It's been sitting for a while. Um, so we took the offer of $75. So, so pretty good flip. Uh, next we got a uh, Sirius satellite uh, power adapter uh, for your car cigarette lighter. Uh, we picked up a few Sirius satellite um, packages from a garage sale. I think it was 20 bucks for the for the lot. It was one complete new uh, satellite radio, and then two of them were everything uh, but the radio itself. Uh, so we parted out the accessories. This went for full price of $26.88 plus shipping for a grand total of $36 and 87 cents uh, next we got some men's floor shine imperial shoes um, really nice looking shoe uh, brown two-tone slip-on uh, oxford uh, type shoes uh, nine and a half uh, popular nine and a half ten uh, pretty good size for men uh, these took a best offer of forty dollars we were asking forty four dollars and eighty eight cents uh, for a total including shipping of fifty two ninety nine Next, uh, we got a Artful Dodger men's large uh, button-up. Um, pretty decent pattern on it. Um, took a little longer to sell than I, I expected it to. Thought it would go pretty quick. Uh, we were asking $27.88. Uh, we accepted the best offer of $22.50 plus shipping. Um, so it was a grand total of $31.49. Um, with shirts, um, they're generally uh, pretty easy to list in regards to pictures. Uh, we only take more than the three uh, when there's um, some sort of embroidered or, or pattern that we want to uh, highlight. Generally, uh, we take the front, the back, and then this angle type photo. Um, sorry, four, and, and then the tag size. Uh, but if there's more embellishments on it, such as the embroidery, uh, we do like to get additional pictures of those as well. Uh, so next we got Tommy Hilfiger um, Polo. Spell out across the chest. Um, these are the ones that we generally do pick up. Again, we usually pass on about 90-95% of the Tommy that's out there. Generally, we only get the ones that are colorful. Uh, we've got the spell out across the chest, uh, the back, any sort of spell out we generally pick up. Uh, this we took a best offer of uh, $20, and this was free shipping as well. Um, well, not as well. <laughs> we did free shipping on this one for so it was $20 total is what we set this up for. Uh, next, uh, we got these Vans tie-dye. Um, we picked up a couple pairs of these. Um, this one went for $29.88 uh, plus shipping, uh, so a grand total of $44.87. Uh, definitely want to look out for Vans. Uh, they sell uh, pretty good. We had two pairs recently. Uh, picked up two pairs and they're both sold already. Uh, one sold, I believe, prior to this was in our last uh, What Sold video, if I'm not mistaken. Um, where were they? Uh, either way, <laughs> we, next we got Libby uh, Blue Crystal uh, or Glassware. Uh, this is the Moon Sun Stars uh, Celestial Edition. Uh, we picked it, these up for, I think they were four bucks a piece, so a total of $16 into it. And these went for a total, um, so they went for full ask of $74.88 plus the shipping. Um, so if it was a grand total of $87. 87. Um, 
definitely look out for this in the glassware. Um, they definitely do sell pretty good. We loaded these up um, to get the higher price, of course. Next, we have a Star Wars Classic handheld uh, plug and play device uh, made by Jax. You definitely want to pick these up when you see them. We usually find them for only a couple bucks. This was at a garage sale, I believe, for two dollars, two or three dollars. And this went for uh, what was this one? This was twenty-two dollars free shipping. Um, it was somewhat local, so it wasn't too bad. Um, so twenty-two dollars for that one. Next, uh, we got a O'Neill plaid button-down shirt, short sleeve, double uh, XL, so really good size, um, which helped this sell, of course, O'Neill. Uh, it's not a popular brand, so it's more the sizing that uh, I think made this one sell. So this was $21 plus shipping for a grand total of $27.99. Next, we have some new with tags, Levi's Men's 559s. Uh, we only picked these ones up because they were new with tags. Generally, we wouldn't pick up any Levi's 559s. Usually, um, it's only 501s um, that we pick up in the Levi's. Uh, so these are, as you can see, new with tags. Uh, these went for $39.85 plus shipping. So a grand total of $50.84. Next, another pair of jeans. We've got Rock Republic Women's. Uh, these were uh, $22.85. Um, these were full price. They were on sale, I do believe, plus the shipping for a grand total of $32.84. Uh, nothing special, just a standard pair of Rock Republic jeans. Um, nice embroidery on the pocket. Um, and then you can see the pictures we generally take the standard B pattern. We take a picture of the back, front, tag, and any other tags that are on there. And then we also get pictures of the cuff, the pant leg cuff, uh, just to show if there's any wear on there as well. Next we got some Columbia Dream, Drain Maker uh, women's shoes. These were size 7. Uh, these went for a best offer of $28 plus shipping uh, for a grand total of $42.99. Um, standard pair of shoes, um, running outdoor um, type of shoes. As you can see, again, we take this photo this. Generally we get about 10 to 12 photos on shoes. You want to try and take as many as you can when it comes to shoes just so you are showing the full condition of, of uh, how they are. Uh, so again, uh, including shipping, $42.99 on those ones. Next we got a pair of men's Volcom jeans. These were, uh, took a best offer of $22.50 plus shipping, went for a total of $33.49. Uh, next, another pair of jeans. Uh, I got some Jack Jones men's uh, 30 by 31 uh, skinny jeans. Uh, Jack Jones is a brand that we do pick up um, generally when we see them. We always do look them up, of course. Uh, some Jack, jeans, Jack Jones are, are run of the mill, and not really worth anything. Uh, these went for $24.55 on sale uh, when we do our 15% off sale, including shipping. It was $34.54. Another pair of jeans, these were silver women's 30 by 26 uh, capris, uh, Ico Slim, um, just silver we generally uh, always pick up when we see it, they still move uh, really well, uh, men's, women's, doesn't matter, uh, they still sell. These went uh, during our sale for $23.70 plus shipping, uh, these were $33, no, actually these went for best offer of $22.50 plus shipping, uh, was $33.49. Oh, here are the other vans. <laughs> so they're in this haul here. Uh, this other pair, this was the X-Men brand. These went for a best offer of $25 and including the shipping was $37.99. Uh, this was a pretty good flip. Uh, Eaton Men's uh, Contemporary Houndstooth uh, button front shirt. You definitely want to be looking out for this brand. Um, so here's the tag. Um, Eaton Contemporary. Uh, we picked this up, I believe it was $8, and it sold for a full ask of $64.88. 
plus shipping, uh, so a grand total of $74.87. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to look out for this brand if you see it, pick it up. Uh, the Eaton Contemporary one uh, seems to be uh, the one that sells for pretty, pretty good money. Again, this was $74.87. Uh, next, uh, we have a few of these. Uh, we picked this up in a bulk order, or bulk lot, that we purchased off an auction website. Uh, these are Barefooters Classic um, outdoor water type shoes. They're made of some rubberized material. Uh, these sold for $25. Uh, best offer, we're asking $29.88. They went for $25. Um, somebody actually bought two pair, which you'll see the next one. Uh, these are the yellow mustard uh, and then there was a black pair as well um, same person bought these $25 each plus shipping uh, so they went for a total of $50 plus the shipping so it was $66.99 and then finally uh, we have another pair of shoes uh, these were men's brass boot boot excuse me boot brand uh, size 13 which I think helped these ones sell uh, brass boot, it's not a great brand, uh, well, it's decent anyway. Uh, sold for full ask, $39.88, uh, plus shipping of 50, or yeah, so plus the shipping for a grand total of $54.87. All right, uh, so that's 20 items that sold in no particular order from July 1st up until July 13th. Um, hope you enjoyed that content, it gives you an idea of what's been selling lately. As you can see, June, uh, <laughs> June's, jeans and shoes uh, still still moving, our bread and butter items usually. Um, so if you like this content, don't forget to uh, hit that like button. In addition, uh, please subscribe, and you can also hit that notification button to let you know when we've uploaded some new content. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Take care. Have a good one.